and welcome everybody to Bangkok Patna for the FlexCo 2017 Asian Gaelic Games. Hoping everybody has a good day today. Let the games begin. The 22nd year of the FEXCO Asian Gaelic Games spread over three venues, saw 700 players take part on day one. The Irish flag was prominent, of course, but lots of different nationalities were represented, including on the host team, who have a Bangkok-born player thrilled to have the AGG in his hometown. It's unbelievable. Um, I've never heard of Gaelic football until recently, I think around a few years ago, three years ago, if I'm correct. And I was invited to come and play and started hanging out with all the guys and the girls from the GAA Thailand. And when they are on the field today, for example, I felt like these are the guys that I play with for the past few years and now they're playing with some strangers. It's, um, it's a feeling I did not expect I'd have. So um, I'm quite... Um, Quite happy. I'm, I'm also quite impressed with the um, the amount of people that travel to Thailand to play with us. It's an incredible tournament, I have to say. It really blows your mind when you see so many Irish people and so many natives as well involved in the game, which I suppose is the novelty and the most exciting part of it for us being over. I've been talking to quite a few of the natives, asking them how they've got involved in it, and it, a lot of the stories are very, very interesting. So it's definitely an area of the GAA that is possibly one of the most exciting areas of development that we have. <laughs> there was certainly excitement when Bernard Brogan joined a new team from the Philippines as their celebrity banished jaw, and especially when the Dublin forward went into goals for one of their games. Yeah, well, I took, a, took on a tough role today. I uh, got involved in the Manila squad. I think the club was only formed. Uh, they set on our final day out in the Philippines, so... Uh, there's a good group of them there, some local Filipinos and some Irish that are working over there. So it's great to see so many GA clubs in the Irish abroad. GA is so important uh, for, for the Irish abroad. Um, it's their little bit of home and it gives them that kind of bit of energy and warmth when they can see the Irish. Here's a slipper coming in. <laughs> um, now it's a great day out here. Like the, the numbers are phenomenal and everyone's flying in at their own expense. It just shows the, the love for the game and the, the love for a bit of crack as well. I saw their earlier games and they lost both of them and you definitely made a difference now. I'm not saying you made a difference for the good or the bad. You let in a few goals there. <laughs> yeah, I stood in goals. I think Klucko's safe enough now for the time being. But uh, it was a hot day and they had a few injuries so they needed they needed someone to step in. So no, I didn't fill myself with glory. But we tried our best and we had put in a decent performance. So the guys are can go home proud now that they gave a good, good in. And so a club, as I said, three months old and they're still flying. Another new team this year is from Cambodia, with most of their players totally new to Gaelic football. Three of the girls on our team, I think, have only played football before, so the rest are all um, new players, and they had an absolute great first game. They did really, really well. I'm so proud of them. Uh, first tournament, just here to have a bit of fun, so we're really, really enjoying it so far. Whenever you're so used to being involved in the GA at home, it's a particular vision, a particular model that works for Ireland. And there's all, we are always questioning ourselves in Ireland, are we going the right direction? Are we doing the right thing? Is this the right thing to do? Because in Ireland, we are managing a huge chunk of Irish culture, which is our games. Here, I don't think that they are just as worried about that element because, you know, you know like the, city, the song the city of Chicago says, they brought their songs and music to ease their lonely hearts. Well, these people have brought their games and their culture to ease their lonely hearts. So you might as well be at home here. And when my daughter went to Qatar, and we were worried about her in this strange country, very quickly she became a part of Doho Gales, and she was meeting and talking to us about people from home and, and all of that. So that's, I think, what's very exciting about it. And they are not pressures about themselves. This is all about here, about inclusion, about teamwork, about participation. And you have people here involved in the games who would never, ever be involved at home just because it's about the social end of the company and the crack and all of that. So that's why it, it, it really affirms you in that the GA is a wonderful organisation.